Patrick Haggerty here again with Basin Youth for Christ. Tonight, we're going to be looking in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, and we're picking up the story where Jesus has um, just finished up the Last Supper, and he is now headed into what is going to be his crucifixion. But he shares something with the disciples that when I read it, I thought, wow, that's really applicable to us today. And so let me read it to you tonight. This is uh, John chapter 16, uh, verse 32. It says this. Jesus said, A time is coming, and in fact, has come when you will be scattered, each to your own home. <laughs> Jesus said, A time is coming, and now has come, when you will each be scattered to your own home. And Jesus is speaking about how the disciples are going to abandon him in the hour of his greatest need. But it also applies to us today. We've been scattered, each to our own homes, and, and we're dealing with um, social distancing and not being able to contact and be with other people like we've been able to be with other people in the past. And as a result, we can struggle with it. And Jesus said this. He says, you're going to leave me all alone, meaning the disciples are going to abandon him. But Jesus said, yet I'm not alone. For my Father is with me. And that's an encouragement for us today. Man, when we think we're all alone, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, no, you're not. The Lord is always with you. He loves you. He lives within you by the power of His Holy Spirit. And we need to be encouraged by that. And then Jesus said this, I've told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. Where are we going to find the peace that we're looking for in this world? Listen, you're not going to find it out there. The kind of peace that you need in your heart, the kind of peace that you need in your mind, the kind of peace that we need in our soul, you only find that in Jesus Christ. And he's offering it to us in abundance. In him we have peace. And that's my encouragement to you. Seek Him. Let's strive to know Him, to stay connected to Him. Then Jesus said, In this world, <laughs> you will have tribulation or trouble. And from where we sit, we say, Yes, I can agree with that. Yes, it's happening. We're going through a time of trouble. But don't be overcome by the trouble. Don't let the circumstances that we're dealing with overcome you. Listen to what Jesus said. He said, we're going to go through difficult times, but take heart. Why? Because Jesus is the overcomer. Because Jesus said, I have overcome the world. So look to the Lord. He has the power and the strength to help you overcome. Whether you're getting stir-crazy being housebound or not. He has the power to help you overcome, whether you're dealing with sickness or not, whether you're dealing with circumstances where you're not able to see a relative that you love because they're in a nursing home and you're not allowed to even go see them anymore. There are legitimate issues and we need to seek the Lord because in Him, in Jesus Christ, we overcome. Look to the Lord. He loves you so much. God bless you.